All right, I was um, going to be doing some videos on low noise measurements. Um, and I have this nice device here now, which can measure down to around 10 microvolts. And I wanted to look at some circuits and stuff at low, low, uh, low signal levels. And I ran into a bunch of problems. First was I was getting too much noise because of the, uh, the lighting in my garage. I've talked about it before. I have this LED lighting and it's noisy. And yes, I've tried to filter it. And yes, I've tried to do a bunch of other things that I just can't get rid of it. So when it gets time to, like when I play with ham radio, I have to turn the lights out <laughs> and just use tungsten lighting or fluorescent lighting, whatever. But um, so first of all, I needed to turn the lights off. Okay, that got me a little ways there, but it was still too much noise. Then I said, okay, I need to um, not use a power supply. That was introducing too much noise. I needed to use battery powered. So I went to battery powered. Still had too much noise, even with just battery power, because just stuff in the air. And then I said, okay, well, I can't use oscilloscope, oscilloscope probes, because uh, they have these ground leads. Okay, so maybe I'll need to have hardwired coaxes and stuff. Okay, fine. And then I said, well, still not getting there. So then I built myself a Faraday cage, okay? And so I got some Tupperware and some... Uh, aluminum foil, and I put that together, and guess what? Too much noise. And I discovered <laughs> that I wasn't getting a perfect seal all the way around uh, the box. So the uh, metal wasn't making contact everywhere. And what happened was the top of the box started acting as an antenna. It would pick up noise and then retransmit it into the box. And so that wasn't going to work. And it dawned on me that maybe uh, I should do a video on people who wear uh, aluminum foil hats or tin, tin foil hats, <laughs> because this actually makes it worse. If this is the hat and this is your brain, Putting the hat on, this actually acts as an antenna. And I thought that would make a great video. And I asked my friend if he'd ever heard about it. And he goes, well, there's this paper. So these guys at MIT, uh, it did that. And they did a whole, they did a whole study on it. And indeed, your tinfoil hat makes things worse. So yeah, don't wear your tinfoil hat. All right. Um, so a couple days ago, I was having, friend, uh, uh, having a lunch with my friend. And he came with a shopping bag and he gave me these things. Uh, these are wonderful. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I gave me a bunch of them. So these are boxes and um, uh, he gave me one, two, three, four, five boxes. The little ones here haven't even had their wrapping taken off of them. So there's a box and there's a lid. And then there's some holes you can get things in and out of, and there's a little window here. Uh, this, these were taken from a project that he did at work, and then they no longer needed these. And the project fit in this hole. So they, they built a device, and then they shoved it in the hole, and then they could measure things in here. So they needed to get their signals into it, and it happened to be fiber optics. So they had a hole here to get the fiber optics in and then they could do its thing. And then they had some way of making electrical contact to it and everything. And they had it all in a Faraday cage. So that's pretty cool. So I got two of those. Then they gave some bigger ones. So this one, um, need to find, uh, find the right size Allen wrench here. All right, so this box, uh, has an interesting routing here. I don't know why they did that. Um, and then this box, I don't know how this box is constructed. Uh, it doesn't look like it has any seams on it. Maybe it was TIG welded once, once it was put together, but it's obviously two pieces, but then somehow it's been perfectly TIG welded or I don't know how it was put together. But anyway, that's pretty cool. And then there's a routing here for a, a an RF grommet. And uh, let me open up another box here because I can show you what the RF grommet looks like. 
All right, so here's a box and it has the RF grommet in here. Now this is kind of like a foam material with some metal, I don't know, some metal on it somehow, the metal threads. And then it, when you uh, close the box down, it smushes onto this uh, here and it's like a zebra connector and it uh, hooks it all together. And then inside, so this is obviously like a uh, second revision because it's uh, kind of the same construction as another one I just showed you. It somehow it was TIG welded together and then, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how that works. And then it was gold plated. <laughs> oh yeah, even fancier, it got gold plated to have perfect con conductivity. So, wow, really, really nice. And then they put some SMA, some feed through SMA connectors on it. And uh, yeah, so that is that is super cool. Got some scotch tape I have to get rid of. Um, but yeah, uh, here's labeled SCL SDA. So they had some, some some kind of serial clock and serial data uh, coming out of the thing. So obviously, if it was fiber optics, they probably have fiber coming in, then digital 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 signals coming in and out the other side. Um, then there's this box. All right, so this is another way to do RF grommeting. Uh, this one has these little, uh, a, a little milled trench here, and then a tiny little, almost looks like a rubber band, but it, again, it has metal threads in it, and um, uh, probably RF material or something for it. But anyway, you can lay this rope in this groove and that acts as a uh, that acts as a um, as a as a gasket as well and this one was pretty cool because this one had a fan in it um it hadn't been used yet it looked as though because there's a uh, some holes drilled in here that the fan can bring in air and then some uh, holes over on this side to get airflow inside of the box even a leftover uh, semi-rigid uh, sma and then uh, again, feed through feed through SMA connector. So this is a pretty cool box. Again, this one's uh, gold plated as well. Now this one doesn't have to be TIG welded together or anything. It's just milled out from the top. And uh, so if I was going to make one at home, this is, <laughs> this is how I would do it. But uh, yeah, there you go. Need to find some sourcing for this uh, RF grommet. That's kind of cool. Anyway, so I got all that stuff. And then you also gave me. Uh, well, here's some more. Here's some more of that uh, rubber grommet stuff that has the conductive stuff in it. And uh, he gave me a sheet of, or inside one of the boxes, I, I think, was is this stuff. Now, this stuff I've never had my hands on before, and I want to play with it. This is double or single sticky. So it peel. There's, there's a layer here, and you can peel it off. And then this stuff has sticky contact on the bottom, but it's like it's like rubber ferrite. It's like rubber with ferrite in, impregnated in it. And then um, you can peel, you can cut off a little piece and then you can like glue it on top of a part. And it, it adds like a ferrite bead on top of the part to kill some, some, some RF. And you can see here some little thin little strips were being used. Here's a leftover here. And here's a cutout here. So yeah, oh, here's a little bit on the bottom here too. Can I peel that off? Yeah, just to show you. Oops, oh, where did it go? Here it is. Yeah, so it's still got, still got a little sticky on one side, self-adhesive. Anyway, so uh, that will be, oops, sticking to my thumb. Yeah, there we go, sticking on a part. So this will be fun to play with too. Uh, what does it say? G, G O S? I don't know. G O, I don't know. I don't know what that stands. It's a number five O five O five. Maybe that's five O five. I don't know. Anybody knows? Let me know what this stuff is. I get a data sheet for it. Anyway, uh, this is going to be great. I'll be able to actually do some uh, Faraday cage type type of stuff without having to build a big one and uh, be able to get some signals in and out and see if we can't measure some low noise signals.